Hi folks, welcome to another tutorial to earn your assessment stripes with PowerTeacher Pro. In today's video, we will look at part two of your gradebook setup, setting up your traditional grade calculations. If you teach in a grade six and under school, you only need to watch part one. This video is for teachers who teach at a school that includes junior high and or high school students. Remember, step one is to set up your categories to appear only in the classes that will use them. So for example, if I'm not using a final exam category for art, I need to make sure I remove that class from the category. So please watch Gradebook Setup Part 1 for that tutorial. Once I've got my category set up, I must ensure that my course outline is correct. So that's before I even come into PowerTeacher Pro. So in our example today, I've already collaborated with the other social studies teachers in my school to determine the grading rules that work for our students in our context, ensuring that there is both vertical alignment up and down the grades and horizontal alignment from classroom to classroom of the same grade. After I've done that, I'll go to Settings, Traditional Grade Calculations. I'll find the section I'm going to set up first, which will be my eight A's. I'll drop down that arrow, then click on the edit button under actions. So for our junior high and high school teachers, this is where you'll need to add your categories and you'll click this plus button. Then you'll choose your type as category weighting. You'll choose your attributes as your, uh, as your categories and you'll just keep pressing that plus button until you have uh, enough space for all the categories and you'll set them up. Please do remember, if you are giving a final exam or a final assessment in your course, you must use the division created final exam category. So again, check out part one of the gradebook setup for more information. Once you've added your categories, set the weight as per your course outline and then save. Now, I'm teaching two Social Studies 8 classes, so I could go ahead and do that thing all over again from scratch, or I could copy my traditional grade calculations from 8A to 8B. So I'll come up to this gear button and I'll click Copy Traditional Grade Calculations. Click to another class. Then I'll choose the class I'm copying from. So notice here that I can choose the term. So if I taught this last year and my course outline hasn't changed, I could just copy from last year if the grading rules are the same. It's pretty slick. Then I'll choose the class or classes I'm copying to. So I could copy to multiple classes if I need to, if it works. Then I'll click validate and check to make sure I selected all the right classes. And if everything is right, I'll click copy. If you are an elementary teacher, all you need to do here is uncheck Calculate Overall Class Grade. Click Save, and you'll know you're finished with this step if the formula type for your elementary classes all say No Overall Grade Calculated. That's it for today, folks. If you have any questions, please do give us a call at St. Peter Center. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.